Yeah, so what we've got done here as well for Tequina is we want to give uh, our consumers an idea of the direction we're going, that we're really serious uh, about our e-mount and what we want to do with it going forward. So we've also uh, given an intention, an extension of our lens roadmap where we're showing you what, what we're planning to, to bring out. So at first here we've got a 90 millimeter macro lens, f2.8. It's a G lens, just like the 28 to 135 video lens we looked at before. G lens is Sony premium lens. It's a real sign of quality from our engineers, uh, the standards of this lens. So this will be our macro lens coming up. And it's also, you might notice, the OSS marking on the model name. It's got optical image stabilization on a macro lens. So fantastic. Particularly if you're shooting 90 millimeter, you want to make sure you don't get any of that camera shake. So if you do the macros from hand, instead of a tripod, it's usable. Exactly, yes, exactly. Of course it has focus limiter on there like you'd expect with a macro lens, but this should be again great suits for a great match for those full frame e-mounts. But of course usable on all e-mounts as well. Yeah. Uh, looking along next, we have quite a versatile full frame e mount lens we're going to bring out, which is the 24 to 240. So, this is, like I say, an all round lens, gives you that wide angle 24, but with an effective 10 times zoom. Again, full frame compatible, compatible with our APS C models. And again, this is a good all round lens when you can only carry one lens with you. It's going to be a, hopefully a great one to take with you. The holiday lens. Exactly, yeah, for a lot of people, it very much is. Next model along I want to point out to you is our 35mm f1.4 Zeiss lens. So again, another Zeiss lens, a mark of quality. And we already have a 35mm Zeiss lens for our full frame E-mount. That's f2.8. We made it nice and compact, great companion uh, for the Alpha 7 series. But also some people say to us, oh no, we want some brighter aperture, this type of thing. So we're trying to satisfy... A real fast that. lens. Exactly. So it's 35mm f1.4 and Zeiss quality. I'm really looking forward to this lens personally, actually. For sure. So. <laughs> and then the last lens, which I'll show to you, is a, is a 28mm f2. So, of course, full frame f2. And what's interesting about this lens is we're bringing out a couple of converters with it as well. So the converters, which are just to the left here, we have a wide angle converter. So that's going to convert the f, when you stick it on the front of the 28mm, it's about a 21mm wide angle. We have a second converter as well, which is a fisheye converter. So again, you put it on the front of the 28 millimeter and it will convert it into about a 16 millimeter fisheye. So it gives that flexibility, just adding onto the 28 millimeter uh, lens. So you see our range here. We're very serious about our uh, full frame E-mount. We think it's great quality and we really want to go forward with our lens range to satisfy our customer needs. It's also, this is the roadmap. Are there also dates announced? Good question. So we're targeting. I will say this is targeting. It's not our like official announcement of exactly lens spec and so on. We, most of these lenses we are targeting March next year for shipments. Uh, That's the, very quickly. Well, I was quite surprised as well. I'm quite <laughs> happy. Um, and hopefully the 24 to 240, we are hoping target shipment for February. So these are targets. So please don't kill us if we don't make it. But you know. We're pushing our Tokyo colleagues to, to make this happen. So you can see we're very serious about extending that lens lineup and really providing a full solution to the customer.